Hello friends, welcome back for some more Jaws of the Lion, the Generals. It's a little bit of overhead as we typically do at the beginning. I've purchased something for Vercingetorix. It's kind of burning a hole in his pocket, all that gold. I figured the winged shoes will probably be a good fit for him. Give, enough, give him another way to jump over an enemy, an obstacle, something for him to get into position. Uh, plus, why not? I mean, it's we can use it once per rest, uh, once per long rest, and he had the money, so why not? Uh, Brennus and Hannibal leveled up in the last episode at the end, so I had a card to choose. Of course, we're bringing in extra fuel, and I dropped 1-2 Punch, uh, because this one has movement and an attack, whereas this one is an attack and loot, but this one will be more, keep him more mobile. Uh, the top being an attack of 2, and then attack of 1, and a push, yeah, sure, but I feel like this one's going to be more useful uh, in the long run. I think there's... There's good times to use this, sure, but we already have Piston Punch for a, a pushing attack, uh, which is, in my opinion, a better pushing attack. Uh, this one will be able to hit for five and wound if they're adjacent to a wall. So, extra fuel. I'm, I'm excited to see both the top and bottom of this, uh, in particular because it's using, it's infusing and consuming fire and we know Vercingetorix can do the same thing, but Vercingetorix has been more towards uh, light. So we can kind of help out a little bit with fire, and we can kind of, well, help each other out a little bit, uh, Brennus and Vers Vercingetorix, infusing and consuming between the two. And then Hannibal, bringing in Overwatch. I'm very excited about this one. Uh, in particular... If I if I time this correctly, it's going to be difficult, I think. But if I time it correctly, it could be pretty cool to see the bottom ability of Overwatch in combination with Fancy Hat because it says uh, add plus one to all your attacks this round. So if I can maybe get this up before we open a door or something like that, and then the next round have fancy hat and then somebody opens the door and bam everybody's charging the door then he can be attacking for three at range five that could be pretty pretty cool and of course one of them could be with the favorite if we find that to be necessary and i dropped center mass uh it's a move and a push yeah that's that's nice. I already have follow through with a move and a push. If I if I feel necessary to to move and push at the same time, and the center mass attack is three at range three, whereas Overwatch is three at range four, and I can increase it to make it four at range five. So I'll keep Overwatch and I'll keep uh, extra lift. So if I find that air is infused. Uh, or maybe I want to use this bottom ability, then I still have extra lift for that top ability uh, when I want to make those long-ranged attacks. And Boudica... Boudica doesn't have... Oh! Boudica purchased the Ring of Haste from the Merchant, and I replaced the Minor Mana Potion for now. Uh, when she reaches level 5, I'll probably just give this back to her. But at this time, I don't find it all that necessary. Uh, I haven't really been using it. So I think the Ring of Haste is definitely the better item. Um, in more situations than not. And I think we're kind of good with the amount of um, elements and mana out in the, in the rooms. So... Does he still... He still has his two. So when both of them reach level five, uh, we can we can bring those back, probably. Probably. All right. Well, I'm going to be taking on Sunken Tumor. Your stones indicate... Our stones... Ah, right. Those stones <laughs> indicate a tumor is 
under the sunken market time to remove it. This is another boss. Kill the blood tumor. So this thing is back, and we remember what this thing does. It will start with a... I think it starts with half of its health, and any time we deal damage to anything except for the blood tumor, it will heal that amount of damage. So it's looking for sacrifice. So we need to remember that uh, we need to plan for that once we open the last door. I assume maybe it's in the in the front. We don't have to open any doors. But also Vermling Scouts and Zealots. Okay, I think we're good to go. Standing outside the sanctuary of the Great Oak. Ah, I meant to go to the Great Oak. Well, it looks like we didn't get in. We were interrupted uh, or distracted. Is a man with a powerful voice dressed in a white vestments. He shouts to the assembled crowd. It is time for tithing to the Great Oak. Donate to... Oh, well, actually, here we go. <laughs> Donate to the preservation of its majesty and it will bless you with a prosperity never been before seen. Passes a rough-hewn wooden bowl amongst the crowd. Yeah. Uh, plenty of other people are donating. No, I mean, we're going to donate. That could have been interesting if, if we had people donating and then... Yeah, five gold each. We've been blessed just the once. So if, if we had the other, I don't know, maybe one or two people bless and then... Or uh, donate and then this... I don't think that actually goes towards the donation anyway, but um, it looks like everybody got a free blessing out of it. Well, a cheap blessing. The Sinking Market. A large area along the western coast of Gloomhaven, where you only go if you don't have any money to steal, or you want to operate outside the view of the city guard. The whole district is slowly sinking into the Merchant's Bay, and the city has abandoned it, leaving it to rot of its own accord. There are a great number of deserted houses in the area, half sunk in the silt, but only one cluster shows the signs of a sinister growth within. You grip your weapon and kick in the closest door. What follows is a cacophony of screeches and the realization that Vermlings have once again entered your life. Not only that, but more of the zealots are lurking in the back of the room. More lackeys up to no good. Nice. All right. Uh, executioner, layabout. I think layabout's actually something we should go for for Versen Uh Let's go for it. Layabout. I don't think he's necessarily a, a big uh, grabber of XP. Yeah, there's one. I've seen two. There's three. I could get one there. Yeah, I think I think it's pretty doable. If we just don't burn any cards, then it's it's very easy. Brennis. Whoops. Specialist or protector? Specialist seems all right, but protector seems like something that we're going to be trying to focus on anyway. Pin cushion. I'm not sure I've seen this one before. Be targeted by attacks from three or more monsters in the same round. Or Zealot, have three or fewer total cards in your hand. I like Zealot for him because. The, uh, the cards that we have now, Overwatch, Sharpened Blade. Oh, man, Sharpened Blades. Okay. I mean, have, have him burn this and this. That's an attack of three at range five, and they're wounded. And Fancy Hat. I'm, I'm coming around for Fancy Hat. Hmm. Uh, that would make that an attack of four. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I'm... Huh. Huh, huh, huh. I, I, like, I like where this is going. Dynamo? Or Indic... Again. Uh, I mean... Sure. Let's, let's go for that for her again. I think we're good to go. I almost... I'm wondering if maybe... Because I'm taking Zealot... 
if I exhaust due to losing all of my cards, then it, it it's still a success because we have zero cards in our hand and discard uh, at the end of the scenario. Of course, at the end of a victor, uh, victorious scenario. So maybe we don't want Protector here. Let's go Specialist, and I'll, I'll try to focus on that. This way, if Hannibal does go out with a big bang, then uh, we don't have to worry about Protector failing. Round one. So where are we here? How does uh, everything look? We've got one, two, three normal scouts, and then two... Oh, we've got this nice obstacle right in front of us. Uh, and then two elites. And then two elite zealots back there. They can wound. And it looks like at... Yeah, at level 2, the scouts aren't poisoning yet. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Difficult terrain right through here. Is it back there too? Yes. So in order to get to the door, we're going to have to make it over this. A little bit more movement. That's not too bad. And if it might slow them down, honestly. I don't... It says that they have a movement of 3, so maybe they'll be able to get through it. But maybe not to us too quickly. Uh, then we have a kind of a corridor back here, a hallway to a small room. Of course, this is where the uh, blood tumor is going to be living and asking for blood for sacrifice. Honestly, I think I spent more time looking at the art than choosing my cards. I mean, look at the scene the story that it's telling it's great it's great i love it i love it all right well we'll start off at 12 with vercingetorix barbaric instincts will shield pull uh you closer and then make them suffer a damage bring it in fire and then flaming sickle yeah i'm bringing in fire again but hey all adjacent enemies suffer one damage again. Uh, we'll loot. That's really not going to happen. Hmm. Maybe I don't do that then. Maybe I just use Swift Strength. Let's use Swift, swift Strength. I'm not going to use the jump. I think I'm just going to stand right where I am. Or maybe I'll move over here and pull you in. I'm not sure. But I think I'll do it that way. That way I'll have two shield. They'll suffer a little bit of damage, bring it in fire, and I can use this later for that loot to, to really be more efficient, I guess. 17, favorite, and power pitch. I want to go early because I want her to give him the blessing and strengthen. And then poison, I don't know which one I'm going to put it on. Definitely not herself. Uh, cold embrace, bless everybody again. Uh, while dealing damage to them. 28 explode. More for the initiative. Because I want to put lob charge. I want to put that right here. I want to see if that's going to work. Not sure. We'll see. We'll see what hex is open. And where we'll put it. Alright. So they're not going to move. And they are going to move, so maybe we can find a place for them to go, or maybe make them go somewhere else. Because we're all going first, which is pretty good. Keeping them all close to him is going to make them deal zero damage to him, but then it, they're all going to deal damage to somebody else as well. That's not going to be that big. An attack of two, two, and one, one, two, three, four, yeah. All of them are going to be able to attack two people. And I don't want to stand over here because what she's going to do. Oh well. <laughs> uh, we will skip. Take that shield and then we will shield again. And we're going to pull you in. <laughs> the 
the sounds that they make are great. Uh, yeah, I, man, I, I kind of wish I went for... I was thinking of using Fancy Hat and uh, Disorienting Barrage just to try and take them out quickly. But you know me, this is, this is the best way to do it. So um, fortunately for them, they both have... They both have, uh, what is it, the the leather armor. So I think what I'm going to do, what number are you? Six. Uh, you two are going to attack first. And you're going to be attacking her at this time. So I don't like that idea. I'll just move up to here and then all of them will be attacking him. But let's get the favorite. And then I'll move up to here. That way, they're both going to attack uh, Hannibal at disadvantage because of his leather armor. This will attack at disadvantage against Hannibal. Uh, this one's the only one that won't attack at disadvantage. So maybe we'll be seeing some, some damage. Uh, as for over here, one, two, three, it'll be against these two, and you'll be attacked at disadvantage, and you have shield. So she won't be attacked at all. Uh, and the way it is, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so you're going to want to stand right there. Let's make sure that you... Yeah, I guess maybe I should just show you guys instead of explain, right? Pass out the blessings. So everybody should have two now. One, two, except for you, you have one. So two, four, six, seven, and this will be number eight. So we'll just have to calm it with uh, the blessings until we're using them, and then we can start piling them back on again. I'm going to give you the poison since you have two shield. I think that's the better choice here. And we'll remove it later. Don't worry. There we go. There we go. Uh, now I have this Ring of Haste. So in this case... Come on. I'll be able to do a second bottom ability. Uh, and all of her bottom abilities are strong. Not really a heal... This could be interesting, but I'm not too interested in it. This could be really good in certain situations, like we need to get through this room really quickly, or it's a really windy space. Uh, so that would be a good thing to have to move two people, make a bunch of enemies move away, or toward, or do something. Have an uh, have an ally attack, move and heal everybody. So I mean. Yeah, and even doing something like this, too. Or that. We could move, do our top ability, and then, since we're in a good position, or maybe move a little bit more and do that. You know, this this uh, Ring of Haste really is one of my favorite items in the game. Uh, that'll do... Yes, okay. And since... Let's see here. This guy... You're going to go one, two, three, four. And then you are going to go one, two, three, four. So if, because there's nowhere else for them to go. So I'm going to put it right there. And that's going to muddle them too. So you're going to move over it, take three damage, and then, uh, yeah, skip. I could back up. And take no damage but I think uh, I think I'm okay we'll we'll just skip the movement and in this case I mean we've got a way to remove it with a healing potion too that'll be fine okay oh nice we got lucky there. Uh, 
Uh, hide armor first. Okay, we'll get through that stuff. Good. And we'll take that. I think they pulled all of theirs. Ah, I did I didn't do it fast enough. I I think they pulled nearly all of their modifiers that time. That's pretty cool. Alright, round two. We're gonna start off at ten with Versengetorix. Shield of the Desert. We can do an attack of three against these two elites. I'm hoping that's maybe enough, but we'll see. And then Flaming Sickle to finish them off if I got close, but not enough. And of course, loot, bring in some more fire. 17 extra fuel for Brennus. We'll use that top ability and it's gonna be an attack of five and wound because you aren't against or adjacent to a wall. And then Piston Punch if that did not kill you. I'm going to assume it doesn't kill you, but I mean, we've got some interesting chances for some big uh, pulls here. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, 40 Overwatch for Hannibal and then Retrieval. Now, I'm not sure how much I'm liking this idea anymore I might use something where's my there's a move for let's use sharpened blades instead because if they're dead I was considering to use overwatch on one of them and then just move and pick it up but he's not gonna move so yeah I think this will be better uh, if I decide to throw my uh, favorite then maybe I can go land on the same hex afterwards I'm not sure though yeah not sure what to think about that um, but we, we can set it up for something and then void warden sap warmth get somebody poisoned and get this ready and then master influence to poison and get one more bless out bringing in ice Yes. Okay, they're going to be doing some ranged attacks. That's... Ooh, and using fire. We're bringing fire in, aren't we? Yeah. Um, and then they're going late. Let's try and deal with that pretty quickly. So, yep, we'll use this. And maybe, maybe I just make the attack against these two. That way we can open up some space, but uh, honestly, it's not going to be that good, is it? Now, let's let's go against them, and if this doesn't kill them, then we have more damage coming in. They're dead anyway. I'll be picking up that loot then, and dealing one more damage for you. Or, do I just say, let's get in their face. I could move up in this case. Because if I stand right where, it, where I am, this will be moving over here. We will be bringing in fire, but we are bringing in fire anyway. No, you know what? I'm not too worried. Let's go for this. And don't worry about that. Demolitionist is... He's fine. You're fine. You're fine. Uh, I'm going to use this now, I think. Yeah, let's just use it now. And we'll make this attack. Yeah, it would have been good for this. This would have been really good, but... Both of them aren't against the wall anyway. 
Uh, so we'll make this attack. If it doesn't kill you, we can stun you. And if it does kill you, that's great. Uh, we can still stun with Hannibal afterwards. Great. That's that's great. That's uh, nearly perfect. So we'll stun you. You'll take damage. You'll take a, a hit now, and then you'll die. So we're not worried about you anymore. And you're you're actually blocking this up so that this Vermling Scout has to go. Well, I guess it will go this way anyway. But now, do we want to take back a card immediately? I I still like the idea of waiting, and I like the cards that I have. I've got another stun if I need it. Ah, nowhere to run. So I I uh, went on to the Gloomhaven Discord, and I asked the question is nowhere to run move an obstacle adjacent to your starting hex does this have to be a single hex obstacle or any obstacle and it is in fact a single hex obstacle uh and they're going to fix the wording and i would I'm, I'm so happy that they were i mean within a couple hours one of the developers uh messaged me and said hey thanks for this we will uh, we'll add single hex obstacle to the card to make it more clear. You're awesome. You're awesome. So I'm glad that they're very responsive with things like that. That's that's very helpful. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm I'm happy with the cards I have. I'm not going to use this. We'll move on. Now I could. This is a pretty beefy attack. I could make the attack against you. And it is at, um, uh, it is strengthened. I could use my favorite even. And what are our chances here? We've got, I mean, either of these would be okay with me too. Four times twos and a couple plus threes. It wouldn't be enough. So I could use the throwing hammer, but I, I'm going to go for it. Let's go for it. Ah, that's not enough. Okay. How should I do this? So I could use my doomed compass to move it back here. And then we're not going to be getting attacks. Oh, that's going to be at range four because, yeah, so it doesn't matter what we do. I could also just move up next to him. Oh, you know what? Let's do that. That way we won't see an attack from this one because it can't do this. And it's just a move of two. So one, two. That's all it can do. Um, this one will attack here anyway. And then this will go one, two and make the attack there too. Uh, I like that. And then it'll make an attack against you. Yep, so we're going to do it. And skip the rest of the movement. Alright. Now this will be at disadvantage. We are wounded and muddled. But I'm going to take it. But we'll be removing those pretty soon. Uh, let's see here. And we will be using these. So we'll be getting some uh, healing back too. So let's, let's see here. I'd like to wound or to put a poison on you. And then maybe I can put the other poison there. Or maybe I'm going to put it on this one because this is the only range 3. The other one's range 2 and that's 2 away anyway. So I'll do that. Good. And now bless. We have the 1 with you. 3... Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it's uh, it's all right. I 
I'm thinking of just continuing with you, but honestly, I'd like to give you... Let's give you one more. And then we'll poison this guy. Uh, that brings in ice. Not sure. But these, these will allow us to heal, so when we attack here, we can get rid of that uh, wound. Ouch. But we can block all that. That's good. Eh. We're still getting a little pummeled here, but round three. I think we're fine. We've got some wounds around. They've got some wounds. They've got some poison as well. And once we attack them, we'll heal off these poisons and wounds and stuff. We're starting off at 12 with Hannibal. Fancy Hat. And Disorienting Barrage. That should do some good damage early on. Then 19 is Brennus Explos Explosive Bolt. Ah! Explosive Blitz. For the bottom ability. But I'm going to skip it because I can't do a basic action. I just want to go early and I'm going to use Rubble for a move two. That's going to jump him right onto this obstacle here. And then uh, we'll hit, make the hit against that guy. I think. Yeah, I do kind of want to go early, don't I? I could use Wind, uh, wind Up for the bottom ability instead. Let's do it that way. Yeah, let's go let's go later rubble and wind up. That way I'm using the bottom ability of wind up and I can if I don't want to land here, then I can go out here depending on who's alive at that point uh, to do some some cleanup, I guess. Um, and if I just go here, then I can use the bottom ability of wind up after so that I can move later with more uh, with double the move. 23 for Boudica, Suggestion. More for, I mean, the initiative, but get a curse out there and then close to the abyss to heal our friends a little bit more. Uh, in particular, that will give the uh, the Red Guard, Vercingetorix, um, another blessing. Then Vercingetorix, Warmth of the Sun for the bottom, heal four, and Desert Knight for an attack and disarm and then we already know what you're gonna do okay so they're gonna be going a little bit earlier and we need to take out these zealots okay yeah yeah you're fine now I could I could actually move him back to make an attack against you I am muddled though so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I could just make the attack here, but we're still going to use this. So it honestly does not matter who I attack in this case because I'm muddled, right? So I'll make... I'll make one of the attacks against you, I think. And against this one... Actually, I, I guess I could just go here, too. Let's go against all of them, since they're going earlier, and then we can figure out how to take out the other ones. This one's already dead anyway, because he's wounded. Uh, we just need to deal one one hit against you, but... This way, we're making an attack against a poisoned enemy, and we can use the... Uh... I could use the eagle-eye goggles? You know what? I'm going to use them. Just to make it a one pull instead of the worst pull. Oh boy. Well done, sir. <laughs> well done. Uh, that allows her to be more mobile. Let's even use the boots. I think that's a good idea. And we can just go way over here 
stand by the door and then we don't have to worry about what to do later. Again, don't want to pick up any loot, so I want to be careful about that. I think this is a good place. And then curse. One, two, three. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Undo <laughs> before I go running over there. Let's get rid of that. And yeah, we'll heal you up a bit. Almost forgot. And now we can curse this guy, get a curse out there, that's good. Good, good, good. Okay. What's next here? I don't think I care about anything else, and then she's just going to be standing over there. Yep. Moving on. Your turn... So I'll make this attack with you. I got rid of a blessing, but he still has two more. That will heal. So even if she didn't get rid of that poison, that would have healed him, right? And then he's able to heal himself for four after that. Pretty cool. And then, but we're going to take a long rest, so I'm just going to keep this uh, healing potion for later. And now it's your turn, and honestly, don't really care about trying to kill you. Yeah, we could stick around for the loot. You don't have a loot. Well, you don't have a loot, no. But do you have a loot card? No, you do not. I feel like what I should do is maybe... Maybe I'll still do this and like one two three four something like that just to get him over these hexes man there's so much loot everywhere we've got a way we do have a loot here but his he's already used his well that's just uh just what we're gonna have to deal with i guess huh So let's uh, let's double the value of his movement, and we'll use this to jump. Maybe man, I'm thinking of going over here, but I'd maybe let's just jump onto this. We'll pick up this loot at least. Yeah, I mean I could sit here and make the attack, but. I wanna, I'd like to get moving. Pick up some loot this way. <sighs> Round four. We definitely want retrieval. So that means he can move over here, pick up his favorite, and pick up the gold. Uh, and it does not matter what else we do. So we'll go ricochet. Yeah. Uh, for you, do we want to try and heal somebody for a lot? Here, I'll use this to get people moving. And then I'll use this later and see maybe it's, it's helpful, maybe not, but maybe. Maybe I just use it to heal him up. And we can remove the poison while we are, huh? Uh, while we're trying to rest, I think I'll just do something like this and this. And as for you, we've got a bunch of movement. Oh, you know, <laughs> we'll just do something like this, and we'll try and we'll pick up one of these loots. I'm not gonna pick up the other, or maybe we will, but. Um, we'll do this. Yeah, you know what? We'll do it. Skip. And heal. That gives him experience. Maybe I shouldn't be going for that. But just one experience so far. It's not that bad. 
And as for you, I think just going toward the door is a good thing. I could just open the door, but maybe that's not the best choice. Nah. So... Yeah, just walk up to the door. Close to the door. Just stand by it. Or should I stand like here so that somebody else could walk over to there? Like, what's he going to do next? I might just use this card. Nah, okay. I'll stand over there. Skip. And this is when you would pull, you know, the obstacle. But since there's no obstacles next to his adjacent or adjacent to his starting hex then that doesn't work okay so I'm just going to end his turn he's gonna take a long rest then they're going to do everything and then he's probably gonna jump in and stun everybody what's going on it says three gold right but then all of the gold this gold is all gone for some weird reason. Huh. Confirm? Yeah, it still says six gold. Strange. All right. And right. Oh, you know what? I don't need to do anything. I can just... Where did that gold go? It's strange, all of the gold has fallen through the floors or something, the cracks in the walls, no, the floors. So maybe what I do is I'll, I'll have him move up, at least over to here. I think that's the good, a good thing to do. And I'm just not even going to use that. Uh, we'll skip the movement. It's range three for the movement, so skip. Consume darkness, and then we'll have you move. And we'll just put you right there. Perfect. Um, honestly, if he's going to be taking a rest, what's what's really what's necessary about this? Is there really any reason to do this? I don't think so. If we're going to be taking rests, there's no reason for it. Okay, round five. We'll go with with the cards that we have in our hands, and he's going to take a long rest. Uh, what do we what do we do with this that and uh, whatever I guess it does not matter does it she's just gonna be standing there so I probably don't want to use this I was thinking I could use this it's gonna give me two experience huh well Yeah, confirm, skip, and skip, and pick up the loot that we can't see, but it's definitely there. Strange. I don't think I left any loot behind. You can see it right there, right? That's tiny little loot in the middle, but everything else is gone. Okay, fair enough. Uh, skip, and skip. And then for you, yeah, skip and skip. Okay. Demolitionists, we're going to perform that long rest now. Uh, we definitely want to keep Explosive Blitz because he's going to just open the door and do that immediately. Uh, same thing for Lobbed Charge because I think I'm going to pair that with that. Now, you know what? Let's actually drop Rubble. And this way, I can destroy something if it's in the way with Explode. Okay. Round six. Long rest. Uh, long rest. Long rest. And uh, Explosive Blitz. And nowhere... No. Where is it? Lob Charge. We'll throw that somewhere interesting. Okay. Okay, end. Uh, 
yeah, we don't need to use that now. Let's see what's behind the door. Whole lot of stuff. There's a treasure chest back in there, too, but what are they going to do? Move four, jump, curse, wound, blah, blah, blah. Wow, okay. If I end my turn here, then one, two, three, four. I don't know if that's... Is that a thing yet? Option, house rules. Yeah, I don't think it is. In, in Gloomhaven original a jump if you don't have enough movement points to jump onto difficult terrain you can't end your turn there but i think in jaws of the lion they got rid of that i know in frost haven they're they're getting rid of it it's not a house rule in digital yet so by ending my turn here is actually a completely fine uh because these two won't be able to jump to here one will jump to here, and then the other won't go there. I, maybe maybe not, but we'll see. Maybe I throw the... That's a good place for the lob charge then, huh? So let's move in. And one, two, three, four, five. Yep, everybody's within range. So we'll skip that rest of the movement. And they're all stunned. What were they going to do anyway? <laughs> they're just going to loot. Of course they were. Um, maybe I skip it, but then they'll be like this, won't they? Yeah. So let's not uh, let's not skip it. We'll keep them where they are. It's probably a, for the best. Beautiful. And we'll put that right here. I think that way. When they try to move over there, maybe one of them will step on it. Um, I could put one here, but there's no reason for that. And plus, I also want somebody to stand there, right? So we'll put it right there. Now, do I want to bring Lob Charge back? Is a good question. Nope. End your turn. Oh, dang. I did not see that coming. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I did not see that happening. All right. Ow. Yeah, as I expected. Well, now I'm very happy that I stunned them because then they would have all been standing around him like this. Uh, including that but in this case now he's standing right there and we can just you know make the uh, we can take him out even faster because now he's he's right there we will have to try and take him out very quickly though because this is a very bad situation I wonder if I could have done it from there but then yeah it would he would have been standing there anyway so all right well let's get through this Starting us off at round seven is Versen Gedrix at six, Flame Shroud for move four and shield. And we'll use our fancy little winged shoes here to one, two, three, four. We'll end there, bring in the shield and Desert Knight to stop somebody from attacking. Then 17 is Brennus, extra fuel, an attack of five against. Probably this one, also uh, wounding him instead of this. I think that would be easy, sure, but uh, let's let's try to take this elite out quickly, and then piston punch to stun uh, probably you, the elite scout. Forty for Hannibal. I'm going for Overwatch and sharpened blades. This is going to be an attack of three and wounding five times 
uh, five times at the end of a move ability from the enemy. And from where he's standing, one, two, three, four, five. He actually has line of sight on everybody on the map right now, which is really, really cool. I'm, I'm excited to see this work out. We can even use our favorite at some point because that's in his pocket right now. So maybe if this one decides to move a little bit, we'll, uh, we'll have a pretty devastating hit against it. Now, my, my question is, if they skip their movement, if they don't move at all, is that the end of their movement? I'm going to say yes, but I want to see it in action before I say anything else. Uh, 67 for Boudica, Lure of the Void, or Disarming, whoever is left over. Whoops. Whoever's left over. And, oh, actually, that's not what I want to do. I want to use Master Influence. So I need a bottom ability. Let's get Black Boon. So we go at 83. We'll use this top one and we can move a little bit and have somebody else move a little bit too. Uh, I'm hoping that maybe you're dead or or not. I don't know what, what's going to be happening, but maybe you're dead. I don't think that's going to be working, is it? Let's get turn out the lights. Let's look at turn out the lights as an option. If not, we can just use the, the default. Whatever. <laughs> They're just looting again, but they are jumping. And from my experience, because these are difficult terrains, they won't even try to jump on it. I, I think. I think. I could be wrong. And they're not moving. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see how that works out anyway. Let's get those boots. We'll do this. Good stuff. We will use... We'll consume the fire now. And they want to use fire for their... Okay, okay. Uh, we'll want to use fire for their attack, but like for you, it's going to be fine. They're just going to be attacking both of us at disadvantage. Uh, and you also have one more leather armor. So what number are you? One. Okay, so it'll be used against that. Uh, maybe we just have you disarmed now. That might be a good idea. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you're a little wounded. It's okay. We'll make this attack. You know what? I can use the battle axe. You know what? I think this is probably the better opportunity for something like that. Um, we still have sap warmth. Do I put the poison on this right now? Nah. Sure. Sure. I'll do it. I was under the impression it's supposed to be wounded. It doesn't look wounded, though. Um, attack plus two wound and gain one if the target is adjacent to a wall. So maybe, maybe it's just going to show up here in a second. I don't know, but we'll stun you. Maybe the stun isn't really that necessary because it's not going to do anything anyway, but... It won't loot, at least. Maybe that's maybe that's something. Somebody else is gonna go pick that up, though, aren't they? Wait. Where's my attack? Oh, we haven't gone yet. Ah, oh, son of a. <laughs> Oh man, okay. Well, that's fine. That's fine. We'll still I'm still gonna go for it. Because we have Zealot, I might as well I'm just gonna be burning cards, but this is gonna do a lot of work. And we can just go late next round and, and overwatch the whole thing. 
Um, of course, this is when they're not going to move, right? Now, does that... Let's see here. The next five times an enemy ends a move ability with range within range five. During... Okay, so this is a move to action. Which is not an ability. I wonder if that's the case. Nice. That worked out pretty well. Uh, okay, Master Influence. And I'm thinking that I'm not going to do this. Not yet, but I don't want to do this anyway, so I'm just going to skip this ability. Actually, I'm going to have you make that attack, I think. Yeah. Let's do it. And we'll use air since it's about to go out of style. And you pulled exactly what I wanted so I could heal. Huh. Now. Do we actually... You've already used that, and you haven't used yours. Okay, so I'll put it on him. Nicely done. Round eight. All right. Maybe fun times are ahead of us. We're going to be going late with everybody, and I'm hoping that... Everybody pulls a move ability so that I can see this working in action. Extra lift for the top ability for Hannibal, but we're going to go at 60. Just I'm just going to want to move three. So one, uh, sorry, one, two, three. We'll bring in air. We have extra lift for uh, finishing off maybe somebody, but I'm hoping that everybody else goes before 60. We'll see. 63 for Flaming Sickle to pick up a bunch of loot once everything's dead, maybe. And then Swift Strength to maybe maybe they die and I can pull somebody. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just thinking. Let's just see if things work out here. Uh, whoops. We'll go later. Commanding Presence uh, for the bottom. And Gift of the Void. So we can, you know, move, move. And then... Uh, Again, maybe finish somebody off. We also have the sap warmth, so whoever makes the attack will only suffer one damage, essentially. Um, wind up for the top to get ready and robotic enhancement. A move four, and we're not impacted or affected by any of this junk. So one, two, three, four. Just go stand by the door, probably. Probably. Ah, we have this over here. Maybe we should send somebody over there to get that. Okay. So they're going to get all of the... Okay, they're not going to loot. Only you're going to loot this, but this is going to answer my question right now. If they don't move, then do they still get attacked by that? And you're going to move too, or as well. Let's see. Yeah, see, because they're skipping their move action, it's not actually working, is it? Where did that loot go? It should still be in the doorway. This is all kind of a bummer right now. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in the way this is going because I really want this to be working. Um, I want to see this stuff in action here. So, I'll make the, oh, it will be a plus one because I have the, 
what is it? Sharpened blades out. So, yeah, I'll make that attack. Yeah, of course I pull a minus. Man, I'm I'm like dying to see this stuff in in action. I'm just gonna make these attacks. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Things were okay. You're dead. <laughs> Everything was going so smoothly. All right. Well, I shouldn't complain. You're also dead when it gets to your next turn. Uh, there's some more loot there. Oh yeah, there was loot back there. Forgot about that part. I'm just gonna let this go until... whatever, for whatever reason. Okay, finally. Finally we get to see it. But it's weird, like it... It would be nice if it showed your face. Because... From, from what I'm seeing here, I have to make a guess at what is going on, right? So, yeah, we'll make this attack as is. So they do have to perform the move beforehand. And that, that totally makes sense. I'm fine with that. We'll have you go pick this up. Yeah, we'll go. We'll pick that up with you. Five gold. I I gotta say I'm I'm disappointed in the the looting. The in Jaws of the Lion, these treasure chests are are terrible. Uh, I will use this so that I can. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Ah. Well, okay, this is actually fine. This is okay. Everything's fine. We're going to have you move a little bit. So you're going to be adjacent to her. And now we can... I guess we're going to be doing it this way. Uh, we'll use ice. Oh wow, it's his... Um... Wait. Yeah, like, what's happening here? Why can I make an attack against them? Uh, targeting them. If they do, the ally suffers two damage. So I can actually attack somebody else. I never knew that. At advantage. And can I? I can. Huh. Well, I'm going to clear that target. I'm still going to do this one. Because it's at advantage. But because it's adjacent, it's not, and... Smack. Oh, he's gonna heal one and then take two damage. Interesting timing. Okay, timing. Good to know. We'll end her turn. This way, what we should do is... Um, explode and do this nowhere to run and then with his boots and fire that's a move of eight so four uh, sorry one two three four five six seven hmm but we'll do it that way have to find a way to get around uh, give and take might be a good thing to have One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so she, he's going to be ending here anyway. Let's go give and take, but maybe we want to go a little bit later. Kind of 
kind of like the idea of suggestion though the problem is one two three it's a little too far so let's go black boon and give and take we'll go later we can move and move somebody else uh, as for you maybe we'll you'll be the one that moves um, let's do something like fancy hat you have two more for sharpened blades and four more for overwatch that didn't work out the way I wanted it to but all right it's okay uh, ricochet that sounds like fun but let's go later maybe we can use those pips first and then we can decide later or er, yeah let's do it that way and as for you let's go early and we'll move with shocking advance i want to move away from them quickly so that they have to move around is my my idea here great uh, we'll, yeah, we'll take a little bit of damage here. Um, I mean, I could do... I really just want to see Overwatch working. So, I know in this room there's only going to be a couple enemies, and anytime I make attacks against them, so I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to go pick up some loot so that they have less loot to worry about. Um, I know you guys are probably like, ah, but sorry. <laughs> this way they have to move, right? Uh, so we'll use that and that. That will bring you all the way back there. And now maybe we'll be able to skip. Um, skip. Maybe we'll be able to see Overwatch. Ah, you're already dead. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, just make the attack as is. Yeah, you're, you're super dead. Void Warden. We're going to poison you. And then we'll uh, strengthen and bless. And then move to... Probably back here, right? And I'm going to have this little guy. He's going to go pick up loot back there. Because he's going to be taking a long rest right now anyway. And now the hatchet's turn. <laughs> uh, just move two. And skip that. Alright, round ten... I'm kind of thinking everyone should just take a long rest before we open up this last door. So we'll just do it that way. Long rest. Long rest. And as for you, I'm, instead, I'm going to have you move up a little bit closer. So when we do... Uh, you know what? Let's just long rest with you two. And since you're standing on loot, you'll you'll loot that at the end of your long rest. starting us off is going to be Versingetrix at 6. Move 4 with our boots 
one, two, three, four. Open that door up. And uh, Desert Knight. No. Ah, whoops. The other way around. Uh, move of six with the jump and then flame shroud for this top ability so that everyone suffers damage when they stand next to him. Uh, we can we can use pull to pull the, the blood clot in. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll figure out where to stand, but I can at least get to about here. Yeah, this far. So I think that's pretty good placement for him for, for later, what's coming up here. Then uh, I'm gonna think about this loot with um, with Brennus back here. That might mean that he just kind of burns out back here while picking up a lot of loot. We're gonna figure that out though. And then at 60 is power, oh, power pitch and what? I'll use fancy hat for just, I'm just gonna use the movement to move up a little bit. And from here, I'll be able to make an attack of six um, against probably the blood clot. And then 89, lure, uh, gift of the void, and lure of the void. From here, she's not going to be able to see, though. That's the thing. So I guess I'm using this to go late. I'll just use the uh, the movement. Is that really what I wanted to do? I thought I wanted to use it for the top, but I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe I... Let's, let's see what I got here. Let's see what I've got. Okay. Red guard first. You glance at the blood trail leading through the door, and you know what lies on the other side. Another malevolent tumor, pulsating and dripping with a foul, dark energy. You ready yourself for the fight ahead and push forward. Look at this. Stop around it. Look at that. Huh. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Okay. Well, they're way back here, and then they're going to have to move. Right. And that's when they'll, they'll move up and take some damage. This is going to heal, <laughs> heal all allies. So that's basically nothing, isn't it? Uh, they can't be stunned, disarmed, or muddled, but we can wound and we can... Huh. Yeah, lose if it reaches... A... Okay. We can wound and we can poison it, and I'd like to do the poisoning. Maybe when I get in here and finish this, it will... Because it says lose if it reaches, and it has reached it. Yeah. I'm just going to assume that's what the case is. Uh, I'm kind of afraid of this. But maybe I just make the attack then. Well, let's move in. There. Eight damage. Oh, that's not good at all. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Whoa. I don't know how I feel about that. I guess they're not going to be healed, are they? Uh, right, yeah. This is a pretty major hit here. Maybe I can stun it so that it doesn't do its attack. Let's do that. And we'll just do that. Oh, you're kidding me! <laughs> Holy moly! 
It has... It needs two more help. That's not good at all. Uh, the problem here is I can't see... I can't see what's going on here. Or... I was thinking of using this to go back here and pick this up. And then just burn that. Um, and that was way too close. I was kind of afraid of that opening the door with uh, with Overwatch. And now it's even more scary because it's so close. Huh. Well, he's about to... He's going to walk up here and deal a pretty major hit. Um, and then we're going to do another major hit with her. Because I think I'm going to use... Yeah, I'm going to use that Gift of the Void then. But... I'm just going to pick up some, some loot, I think, with him. I can bring this back, uh, bring something back. Yeah, that was only three. I think this one has six in it. Uh, man, that was, that was a bit scary. I'm glad that I had the the armor. Wow. All right, power pitch. I I'm just going to go for it with everything that I've got here. With the favorite too, why not? I'd love to pull a times 2 right now. Oh yeah. I think you just saved us, buddy. I think if I didn't if I didn't uh, stun this, that would have been super bad. Super, super bad. So I'm glad... If it just reaches it, I wonder if we have a chance... Like, it does it mean at the end of the round? I have a feeling that's what that actually means. Okay. Yeah, so we'll, we'll use this... And I'm just, I'm going to use this to move in so that I've got some better adjacency and stuff like that. Um, yep. Yep. Okay. Skip. We will poison this guy. Or blood clot or whatever. And we'll have you make the the attack. So I wonder, with you controlling the actions, targeting targeting the target of the poison. If they do, so I don't I don't think you're supposed to be able to target anything else. I don't know, but okay. Oh, you pulled it again! Good work. Now, you know what? I'm gonna do it, because why not? We're gonna pull Lure of the Void right now. I'm gonna use Ring of Haste. Yeah, darkness isn't ready now, though. But, oh well. We're going to use it anyway. Make that attack. Nice. Nice. Uh, oh, because I took damage. I took two damage because of this. So then it, he it removed the heal, or it removed the poison. Interesting. Interesting, very interesting. Okay, round 12. I think round 11 was scary at first, and then extremely productive uh, by the end of the, the, the round. Okay. Let's see, maybe we can finish it this round. So we're going to start off with Brennus at 17. 
move five and robotic enhancement. We're just going to pick up some more loot back here. Uh, that should be all of it. It was kind of strange that the loot was disappearing over here, but I don't, I don't see any more. Not that I'm going to go back here at this point, right? Um, and then over here, yeah, I don't, I think this is the rest of the loot. It did drop there too. Kind of a strange thing, but okay, no more loot. So we'll pick up the loot, final loot with Demolitionist. I have, um, uh, well, maybe, I guess it won't matter. I'll be bringing this card back. So maybe I'll do this. No, I'll, yeah. I'll do this. Um, I'll be bringing this card back because he still has a stamina potion. So I'll bring this back with his boots from back here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that way we can really run back into the room next round uh, and help <laughs> help in the in the final room here. Twenty one give and take. We're gonna use it for this. I'm just going for experience, cold embrace, same thing, we'll use this and we can, um, you know, curse everybody twice, basically is what I'm going to be going for with that. Um, also bringing in fire and ice, which I'll use fire right after, uh, unless they use it. 39 follow through for a big attack against this guy and ricochet, I might use that bottom. I'm just trying to blow through these cards, right? So I'm probably going to use the bottom ability of Ricochet. And then 40 Barbaric Instincts, an attack one with Wound and Precision Strike. I'll have Fire, maybe this will be the, the final blow on the uh, Blood Tumor, which is going to do an attack of four. Then um, Zealot, They'll probably be attacking, but I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. I'm hoping that they're all dead by that point, right? So I guess it doesn't really matter how I do this, right? So I'm just gonna do that. End and skip. Whoops. Nope, 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 nope. Now we can bring Robotic Enhancement back and we have nowhere to run. So when we get all the way up here, we'll be able to make a pretty big attack with that. I don't even know if he's going to, to be, you know, there might not be an extra round, but we can, yeah, there was two loot there. That's good. Uh, this way we can, you know, get, get up here if they are all still alive. All right. So one, two, three, unfortunately I can't go here and I don't have my boots, but I will just move back here. That's gonna curse at least both of those. And then I'll use Cold Embrace, Consuming Darkness, or boom, boom, boom. That's going to give more curses, good stuff. And then I'm gonna go invisible. Nicely done. Maybe I shouldn't have ended back there. I don't know. I guess. Um, was I here? One, two, three. Yeah, there's not really many more choices, but that's fine. We'll be fine. We'll get rid of some of that. So it's going to heal four. Why did it heal four if it only dealt two damage? Hmm. I don't know how I like that. Uh, I'll make this attack here. Good, it's poisoned. So if it does, I guess it's going to heal one because of this wound coming up. Um, oh, I guess it's going to be healing because of this. So... I'm just going to, I mean, it's going to be staying alive a little bit longer, sure. I want to see this guy move away 
honestly, because then it's going to come back, take damage, and then I can make another attack against it. And that's still plenty of... Yeah, it's still plenty of uh, health. I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, move back to here. And that doesn't go for Overwatch, which also answers my other question. Um, precision Strike. With fire. Oh, but now it doesn't have its... whatever. That's fine. Yeah, that's why it's fine. Wow. We'll use this to hit it one more time. Yeah, that's okay. And now I can heal that off, so I won't take any more damage, and it won't heal from me from that wound. This is an interesting one. I, I gotta say, I like the... Uh, I do like this boss. It's an interesting boss. I thought it was going to take two damage. Did I? What happened to that? Oh, I guess I didn't. Yeah, I didn't use it. There's a good reason I didn't use it. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I have to take the damage. So even more healing. Round 13. So I didn't get through it enough, but I'm, I'm less and less worried about it, of course. So Versus Gatorix is going first at 14. Move away, bring in Light, Flaming Sickle. Let's back up to pull it into this hex. So at 33, Brennus can use Robotic Enhancement 4. Uh, movement is unaffected by difficult terrain. Make that a move of 6. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now the Blood Tumor will be standing here and... Um, Person Gatorix will be standing in this hex. So the blood tumor will have one, two, three, four things adjacent to it for nowhere to run, making that an attack of eight. Which might be helpful. Then commanding presence and suggestion. We'll see what we can do with something like that. And 99, I'm going to take a long rest. He's already, he has three or fewer cards already, so Zila is done. But, uh, I mean, I could have taken a short rest and then maybe go for it this round, but I'm going to, I'm going to be on the safer side here. Let's maybe not burn through everything. Oh, man. Okay, well, maybe we'll be dealing enough damage to it anyway. Let's back up. Uh, skip the rest. We'll make this attack here. I could... St oh no, I can't stun it. That's right. It is immune to stun. Okay. Alright. Here's the big one. All the way up into here, please. And then try to kill it. It's an attack of 10. Why? Why is it an attack of 10? I feel like 4 plus 1 for everything. So 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8... Ah, that's right. I still have wind up. Nice. Okay. Nicely done, sir. I I love the the way he was just hanging out back here, picking up all the loot, and then was like, "You guys still fighting in there?" God. And then he runs up and kills it. 
<laughs> That's just so great. So great. Ow. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to... Let's see here. Maybe I use commanding presence. What's uh, what's going on here? Nah, I don't need to use that. Let's use suggestion. I will use ice. And I'll make this guy perform an attack against them. And they're going to wound too, which is really nice. Yeah, so move over here. Go and stand in the loot too. That way we can, once we kill you, we'll be able to take you on. We'll use fire right there. And now you're stunned. Man, do I love that. I love these abilities. And now I can move, but I don't, I don't want to use that well, I guess it doesn't really matter. What's what's the uh Yeah, I'll have him move over there. So just go over here. Skip. We take the curse. Not going to to hurt us all that much. And since you're going to be he um resting, I'll just move you over there. That way you can pick up some loot while you're Resting. Fantastic. Uh, follow through or fancy hat. I select a card to burn. That's uh, uh, going to drop follow through then. The pulsing of the tumor slows and then stops altogether. It is ruined, hacked up and marred beyond all recognition. The only logical thing to do is burn the remains so that it can never plague the city again. I guess I forgot that I didn't need to kill this. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's a uh, victory. Uh, look at that, guys. I did it two times in a row. I think that's a record. I think that's my record uh hatchet 691 of course yeah i mean honestly void warden doesn't show here in any of these statistics but still one of uh one of my favorites i think of the four i'm gonna have to say she's my favorite i just the way that she her abilities the way that her abilities kind of like tell stories and control rooms uh, by themselves it's just great I do appreciate the hatchet quite a bit demolitionist is really coming around for me now I I think at first I was looking at it as uh, I feel like there was so much hype around the demolitionist that um, I didn't I just didn't want to like it because everybody else liked it I don't know that's that's just kind of me uh, but uh, I um, I don't know I, I I think that's why another reason I love the Void Warden because nobody talks about the Void Warden. It just seems like it's thrown in there, but honestly, she, the way she can control a room uh, and help her friends a lot. Like, how many blessings did she put in? Hmm, that's a that's a good question. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing this, but and then the red guard is is fun. He's tanky. That's that's basically it. But he has some interesting, you know, pushing or uh, a lot of these pulls, uh, and the, the way he deals damage is kind of interesting too. So anyway, we've got some some perk points here for everybody all around. Let's head back to Gloomhaven. You exit in fairly high spirits. It is done. There is one tumor left to destroy. And then, hopefully, the rest of these robed madmen will leave the city alone. But then, you see it across the bay. 
The other tumor's location in the old docks goes up in a massive column of fire. The blast wave hits you moments later, and you're knocked into the mud. You were too late, and the explosion is surely only the beginning. You need to make your way to the old docks as fast as you can, and stop whatever's coming next. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, prosperity is minus one. But 28 experience? Uh, I think we're going to be seeing a couple more level ups here, but... Explosive evolution. Yeah! Fantastic. Uh, and they're really close to level five already. So, yeah, so the other one is gone, and it's been replaced with that. I assume if, let's say, if I did this one first at the old docks, that the sinking market, the one that we just did, would have done the same thing. Am I am I on the right track there? Um, I'm not really looking for the the correct answer here, but um, I think there's there's this story has more twists and fun than the Gloomhaven story does. Gloomhaven does not have a a very interesting story. But I don't think it was, I don't think it was meant to be known as a fantastic story. And uh, I didn't have any expectations on the story for Jaws of the Lion, but this is pretty fun. I'm enjoying this story. It's, I like that this is happening like this. Uh, I can only investigate the final tumor. I can only, uh try to guess at how this is going to look now um but the fact that over here in the sinking market uh, i think the first time we fought one of these tumors it was it had 24 it was half its health and now it had 40 so uh, i'm hoping that this one over here if there is another one i'm not going to show it now but um if there is another one over here, I'm hoping it doesn't start off with like 46 and we need to, and it has 48, you know, we're going to have to figure out a very interesting way to, uh, to deal damage quickly when, as soon as we open that door, right? Hmm. Okay. Let's do these level ups. And it looks like, yeah, okay, well. They didn't pick up another perk point, but another perk, but they're close. Both just need the one. All right. Vercingetorix, level four. Radiant Sickle, another sickle. Attack four, target uh, range two. All enemies adjacent to the target suffer a damage, bringing in light. Uh, an initiative of 79. That is slower than all except for desert night um all the ones that i have at the moment or move two and heal two at range two okay all right i mean this seems i don't know it it just seems kind of boring <laughs> but uh th there's something to be said about it burn away the dark Attack one, target all enemies within two hexes. There we go, and this doesn't burn. Wow. Consuming fire also makes it wound. Really interesting. Uh, move two, disarm, target one adjacent enemy. We can consume darkness to bring in fire, and we can consume, or sorry, consume f um, ice to bring in fire and darkness to bring in light so maybe this is a good thing here uh, this also pairs kind of nicely with this so that we can follow up we do desert night and then burn away the dark again i, I mean the way that these are are telling a story just in the cards uh, i know gloomhaven did do that too and i i really appreciated that when you play these two cards like scurry into the night you know 
very classic mind thief thing to do and it it tells a story all by itself i mean it, it makes a sentence a complete sentence so it's it just uh it just fits the the theme and and the story so desert night bringing in darkness and frost and then in the next turn we burn it away um disarming again which is pretty cool I like that. I think that's the one I'm going for. Um, another ranged attack. And then they all suffer damage. Nah, honestly, this one seems like the, the more fun card. Uh, in my opinion. You know. This way I get to target a whole bunch of enemies and wound them all. Come on. Come on. Or, I use that bottom one. Move up. Disarm. Maybe the... the round before or his previous turn we disarm somebody and in the next turn we move up to them and disarm them again and switch the ice and darkness for fire and light maybe that's what we do but i'm not sure yeah i'm not going to do this now but i'm not sure what i would be dropping for this i'm i'm getting more and more invested in the cards that i have at this time so i'm it's becoming harder for me to uh to choose the next one to drop two perks great i'm kind of thinking one of them should be dust then uh, or i could bring in like both of these uh bulwark i could bring in two bulwarks um let's drop dust or let's do dust so now we have a zero a minus one and null really really thin deck here uh, and we can replace a one and bring in a two fire or blazing light. I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking bulwark though, because no matter when no matter when I pull this, it's gonna be good. Like yeah, do some damage, but definitely bringing in another shield. I think that's great. Uh, nothing for you guys. Nope, nope, nope. And they're probably next episode. Uh, Brennus and Hannibal. It looks like they're taking off, huh? Boudica. Whoops. Level 4. Savage Instinct. 51 initiative. This top one does burn. Force one enemy within range 3 to perform attack 3, targeting all other enemies adjacent to it. The acting enemy suffers one damage for each enemy targeted. What? Man, that sounds so great. Um, wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, bottom ability, heal three, range three, strengthen and poison. And yeah, here we go. Use ice to also bless them too. I did say some time ago that I wanted to pick up some some uh, abilities that consumed ice because the only one I have so far is well okay I have cold embrace but I also have uh, is it this one no here suggestion but I don't use this very frequently um, but when I do use it it's it's a lot of fun so yeah well let's see what the other one is i guess the last journey attack four range three cursing uh i this is i mean this attack four range three that sounds great right but the curse okay and bringing in darkness my my thought about this is when you make a a pretty large attack like this this is pretty substantial attack four and it doesn't burn which is pretty nice um i'm hoping that i don't kill because i want that curse to go through if you kill the enemy then the curse doesn't go through so i almost i almost like the small attacks that bring in curse more than the bigger attacks now if it does die great now i don't have to worry about it um, and if it does live, then it curses. So I guess it's kind of nice. 
I guess that's a, an argument for, for it. A large attack will kill it, and if it doesn't, then you get a curse. Hmm. But I, I feel like when I am making these cursing attacks that I want the curse to go in there, but... Okay, the bottom ability, move four. Force an adjacent enemy to move three with you controlling the action. That enemy gains a mobilize and this burns. You know, Savage Instinct. I feel like this is a more fun uh, ability card for her, but I wanted to look at these. This bottom for Taunting Fate. The next time you grant an attack this turn, Add plus one to the entire action. Make it two if you consume ice. All attacks targeting you add plus two. I mean, you just you just make sure you're not in the way, right? Yeah. And crushing cold. Eh, not much. Um, now I do. I do see the top ability of this, and I, I know that I kind of looked at it and was like, oh, I don't want to put Blessings in their deck, but it is a pretty small chance for them to pull it, and for the most part, it's going to be against Vercingetorix, which has the, the helmet, so pretty tiny chances of that being devastating against one of these three, right? For a heal six that doesn't burn, that does sound pretty great, but I feel like I have enough heal here that that's not as important anymore. I feel like we're doing pretty good about healing. But, yeah, Savage Instinct is the one I'm going to go for here. Uh, that's pretty nice. I get another way to consume ice and bless, um, bless one of our friends here. Also, heal three at range three, strengthening. I mean, this is just another way to strengthen too. So, give and take. And, well, I wonder how that would work. Give and take and savage instinct. I could, ah, I could poison somebody and then bless and strengthen somebody else and then remove that poison Poison them also, and strengthen and bless a different person. Uh, this also allows me to poison myself now. I could target myself with this poison, and Savage Instinct would remove the poison, strengthen herself, and bless herself. Now, that doesn't... Strengthening herself really isn't that great unless I'm really interested in Turn Out the Lights. But putting blessings in her own deck is pretty good for master influence. So that the enemies are going to be using her deck. Well, I guess anybody is going to be using her deck. So. Oh, okay. In addition, when you grant monsters attacks, they use your modifier deck. So only monsters use her deck. So putting some blessings in there isn't necessarily a bad thing, right? Hmm. Yeah, I like this. And then being able to just... Having one enemy perform an attack three against all adjacent enemies and then suffering damage because of that, that's that's just great. Beautiful. Alright, oh, we still have some perks. Two perks, again, for her too. That's great. I think we want to start removing, right? This could be interesting for her, but I haven't really seen it being necessary, honestly. I I don't I don't know if I've seen any of them putting curses in their decks or anything. Let's uh, let's go for this, I think. Let's get rid of a couple more minus ones and we'll remove the the minus 2, I think. Yeah, we'll do that. So even more reason for them to be pulling these uh, zero or ones and also healing an ally. Great, great stuff. That was a fun episode. That was a fun scenario. I, I do like those uh, blood clots or blood tumors or whatever it is. Uh, they're pretty interesting. And there's a cool story that's going along with it that I'm that I'm 
definitely enjoying. So cool. Well, I hope you're enjoying it as well. You can let me know by leaving a like or a comment. If you're feeling extra generous, you can find a link in the description to buy me a coffee, which will help fuel me for making great content like this for you in the future. And with that, thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you next time.